Hello, I'm Dr. Yi Chen Chen, an assistant professor in gastroenterology and hepatology, Chang'an Memorial Hospital, Chang'an University, College of Medicine in Taiwan. On behalf of my colleagues from the Liver Research Unit, I would like to thank the editor of Clinical Gastroenterology and Hepatology for giving us an opportunity to discuss a paper coming out in the March issue titled Decreasing Levels of Hepatitis B Surface Antigen Predict Hepatitis B Surface Antigen Serocurrence in Patients with Inactive Chronic Hepatitis B Virus. Studies have shown that spontaneous hepatitis B surface antigen serocurrence is associated with excellent prognosis. However, it is a rare event that occurs at 1 to 2 percent per year, usually after a long duration of sustained biochemical remission. A study of inactive carriers from Hong Kong showed a slow overall decrease in surface antigen levels and a greater than 1 log IU per milliliter decline was associated with a higher chance of surface antigen serocurrence. An Italian study showed that patients with surface antigen seroclearance had a more pronounced decline in surface antigen over time than those who did not. So we conducted this study to investigate serial changes of serum surface antigen level before spontaneous surface antigen seroclearance and tried to determine whether these levels or changes in surface antigen could be helpful for predicting spontaneous surface antigen seroclearance. The subjects were from an original cohort with biopsy-proven chronic hepatitis B. They were followed up long-term in our unit and assessed every three to six months. The study group comprised 46 patients who had undergone spontaneous surface antigen seroclearance. A group of 46 age sex matched E antigen negative carriers with persistently normal ART for more than 10 years but remained surface antigen positive were selected as a control group for comparison. Stored serum specimen collected at 1, 3, and 5 years before surface antigen seroclearance in study group and before last visit in control group were retrieved for surface antigen quantification using the Roche Alexis Surface Antigen 2 Quant assay. We found that a single time point surface antigen greater than 200 IU per milliliter had a negative predictive value of 100% for surface antigen seroclearance in one year. Combining the surface antigen level less than 200 IU per milliliter and one log or more drops in the preceding two years. The positive predictive value for surface antigen seroclearance was 97% in one year. A single time point surface antigen level greater than 200 IU per milliliter had a negative predictive value of 92% for surface antigen seroclearance in three years. Combining the surface antigen level less than 200 IU per milliliter and one log or more drops in the preceding two years. The positive predictive value for surface antigen seroclearance was 100% in three years. In conclusion, a surface antigen level greater than 200 IU per milliliter is a reliable predictor that surface antigen seroclearance will not occur in the subsequent three years. A one log or greater decline in surface antigen level during a two-year period combined with a single time point measurement of surface antigen levels of 200 IU per milliliter or less can best predict surface antigen seroclearance in one and three years with very high positive predict value and negative predict values. Thank you.